Hello, my friends, it's Kim, and welcome back to KTB Creates. Today, I am gonna take you through three spring DIYs that you can create with some items that you may have laying around at home. Uh, for the first DIY, I'm gonna create a bunny garland, and I started out by printing out a free printable offline, and I'm just going to cut that out. And now I'm going to make four bunnies to signify four members of my family. So I traced my bunny cutout onto foam board, and then you're gonna cut that out with an X-Acto knife. Once you have them all cut out, you're gonna take a piece of felt in whatever color you choose. Uh, now the felt that I'm using is from Arteza.com and it's self-adhesive felt, so it has a sticky backing to it, which is really helpful. Uh, but you can use regular felt and then hot glue it on. And then you're just gonna take a pen and you're going to outline your bunnies and then cut them out. Now I'm just adhering my felt to the foam cutouts of the bunny. Next, just to finish out the edging of the bunny, I'm taking some jute twine and I'm hot gluing that around the outer edge of the bunny. And I did do um, two layers of the twine for the thickness of the foam board. Next, you're gonna take your speckled eggs. They do have a hole in one end of the egg and we're gonna create a second hole on the opposite end using your hot glue gun. And you're just gonna push it in gently until it melts the plastic. And then you're gonna be left with a rough outer edge that you can just uh, push into the, the hole to smooth it out a little bit. And now you're gonna take some wooden beads or maybe foam balls or and now you're gonna take some wooden beads or if you have little pom-poms or something like that to decorate. And I'm using three different sizes of wooden beads and the eggs. So then I decided to lay out my pattern on the table so I can make sure I lined everything up correctly. I then taped the end of the twine and I went down the twine about about two inches so that it's a lot stiffer and it's much easier to thread through the um, the holes in the plastic eggs and all you're gonna thread through is your beading and your eggs and then we're gonna hot glue the bunnies onto the jute then once you have that all in place you're gonna lay out your garland again so that you can place the foam bunnies in the proper places. And like I said, we're gonna hot glue the bunnies to the twine. And then for the finishing touch, I am just going to hot glue some cotton balls onto my bunnies. I did fluff them up or spread them out a little bit just to make them a little bit fuller. Uh, and I think that gives it the perfect finishing touch. So for the next DIY, I took two of these mini shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you a cute little trick here. My husband actually purchased this heat gun for a project he was doing. And I have realized that it comes in handy a great deal for crafting. So when you have stickers like this on an item, all you need to do is take a heat gun to it and those stickers peel right off um, and you don't have to fuss with them. Next, I'm going to take off the succulents and the glue remnants off of the shadow box. They did have little nails in them and I just pressed them back and forth until they kind of popped off. Then I'm gonna take some spackle, which is all I had, um, although you might wanna use some wood filler, and I just filled in that hole a little bit and sanded it. So now you're ready for paint. I took some Waverly chalk paint in mineral and I'm doing the outer edges and the inside of the frame in that shade. And then of course I'm using my heat gun again to dry the paint so you don't have to wait to apply your second uh, coat. And that is all it took was two coats of the Waverly chalk paint. 
Then on the inside of the frame, I took some folk art chalk paint in Willow Mist. It's a beautiful pale pink color. And I am just going to paint the inside of the square in that color. And these are gonna be some muted uh, spring decor, not anything too bright, but more pastel colors. Then I took two of the carrots that you get in the Dollar Tree packs, and I'm actually gonna paint the carrots in my mineral chalk paint. Again, just to um, mute the colors a little bit and make it more of a neutral color scheme. Then I'm also taking uh, some of the small foam eggs that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting those with a base coat of the mineral chalk paint. And then you'll see I'm gonna go over each of them in a different shade that I actually created out of different colors and I just muted them with some gray um, paint. So I'm gonna do like a blue, a green, um, a pale purple, and then a pale yellow. And then you can position your eggs and your carrots in little shadow box however you see fit. And here is my little arrangement. And I just love how these came out. They are the perfect addition to a tiered tray or um, something cute you can display on your shelves. And again, it's more of a rustic look and a muted um, pastel look. So I hope you enjoy these as well. And then for my last DIY, I'm going to create a sign made with a tray. Um, this is an oval plastic silver tray that you can find at the Dollar Tree, as well as a pack of the foam eggs. You will need two packs of those foam eggs. And I'm gonna paint the whole tray in Waverly chalk paint in white. I did need, you, do, you will need two layers of paint for this. And then before you pull your eggs off of the sticks, Make sure that you take the little bows off of your eggs, and then we're gonna paint all of the eggs in our um, silver lining Waverly chalk paint. Once they're all dried, you're gonna pull them off of the stick, and then with a little with a steak knife, you're just going to cut the eggs in half. Next, you're gonna take all of your eggs and we're just gonna sprinkle on some different colors of paint to give them that speckled egg look. So I'm just using different shades in pink and green and yellow, purple, uh, all kinds of different pastel shades. And then you're going to take your eggs and you're going to hot glue them around the perimeter of your platter. And then I decided to use some items that I had in my stash. So this is the spring sign that could be found in that three pack from the Dollar Tree. And then I had this happy from an old sign uh, from last year's Easter section. And I decided to use that as well. And then I took some raffia just to make two little uh, raffia bows and I'm hot, gonna hot glue them to the corner of the happy banner. And there you have it, a cute little spring sign that you could display anywhere in your home for the spring season. So I hope you enjoyed all of my DIYs today. If you wouldn't mind, leave a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so that you see all of the videos that I upload. Please take care, stay healthy, happy, and safe and enjoy your Easter and Passover holidays. And I'll see you all very soon.